for so many of us, this is the first time we're living through a pandemic. And let's be honest, it's got a lot of people not on their best behavior, okay? Case in point, check out what happened to one woman. She attended a middle school football game. Middle school, what is that, sixth grade? Without a mask. She's actually tased by authorities and arrested for not wearing one. She keeps saying she's not doing anything wrong, but the police officer thought differently. Well, she, sh she shouldn't have worn a mask. Okay, the next video is actually from back in May, but it's trending right now. A woman in a supermarket was asked by an employee to use their one-way aisle. She completely freaks out. She takes all of her frustration on the liquor aisle. W what? What's your reaction, Jeff, to these people? My reaction when I see that second video, yeah. well, the first one, uh, listen, I'm all about wearing masks. I don't understand the whole not wearing masks thing. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna change anybody's mind, so I'll just skip over that one. The second one, I see that, and I picture people writing me mean things online. I'm like, look at, that's the person who wrote me that, right there. Uh, that's the person who wrote me that. Those are the greasy you're finger out people. of your mind, you got greasy fingers, <laughs> and your keyboard stuck together. <laughs> Uh, Lindsay, when I think back into like civil rights or anti-Semitic anti -Semitic movements where we really had injustice, doesn't this look so silly? Go down a one-way aisle and you're like, no! I just can't believe all the adult temper tantrums that I've seen over this coronavirus. <laughs> extended period of time like I like what do you like the people marching last week through the aisles like with no mask like what is your purpose what is wrong with you like who raised you it's just so, it's so annoying to me like you, this is not the oppression Olympics like you don't have to be more oppressed than anybody else like just enjoy your day stay safe put on a mask stop messing up a store that you didn't pay for what happened to the you break it you buy it situation I think they should pay for every it's, single it, thing they knock down it, it seems too easy yeah. See, I mean, you explained it so easily. The fact that this virus would be over if everyone just complied over. for two weeks. Over. If everyone just stayed home for two weeks, the virus would run its course. And the fact, the fact that that's not an option, isn't even talked about, is insanity. <laughs> I agree. Brandy Spahn. There's been no solid two weeks of people staying home no. all together in unison. So Jeff's theory, he might be onto something. Ask Dr. Coley. <laughs> it's, definitely, it's definitely true. Brandy Sprong just wrote us in. I feel like we were back to raise toddlers with some adults. Geez. Yeah, it's like, it's hard enough dealing with a pandemic and this election and the politicization of everything. And now we have to deal with you guys all whining and throwing wine bottles. Save the wine for me. That, that's in the pandemic. That's a hot commodity. <laughs> it that's is a, a hot, hot commodity. commodity. Coming up on DBL, <laughs> we're talking with parenting expert Dr. Katherine Perlman. So she's going to weigh in de-escalation tactics in tense situations. Who gets the job done, police or social workers? The answer may surprise you. Stay tuned.